Now to our other top story. Parents accused of intentionally breaking their baby's bones and even cutting the infant's tongue. Thanks for watching CBS 17 News. I'm Marius Payton. I'm Angela Taylor. Prosecutors say the baby was less than two months old when that abuse started and went on for three months. CBS 17's Michael Hyland getting answers tonight. And Michael, do you know how investigators found out about this abuse? We have learned more about that in court today. We heard about 15 bone fractures and this baby's tongue being cut, and the judge increased the bond for both parents. Months after they took their baby boy to the hospital, Sabra Blevins and Dustin Mullinax now face child abuse charges. Their neighbors on Oak Run Drive in Raleigh stunned to hear the details. That's horrible. If you can't take have a, if you can't take care of a child, don't have a child. Police arrested both Tuesday night, just as families get ready to celebrate Halloween. I don't understand how you can, you know, create a person and then just treat it terribly like that. Blevins and Mullinax appeared in court Wednesday. The prosecutor says the eight-week-old baby had 15 fractures throughout his body and bruising to his face. He had a large tongue laceration that cut literally halfway through his tongue. Raleigh police say Wake Med contacted them in April. Child Protective Services removed the baby from the home. In court, they asked the judge to reduce their bond. Yes, I, lose yes, everything. I need to get a bond now before I lose everything in my apartment. Instead, the judge increased it to half a million dollars each. Their neighbor, Noelle Cunningham, is trying to become a mom herself and struggles to understand how this could happen. Maybe you need help, but a child should never have to go through that, ever. Blevins and Mullinax are due back in court in November. I asked Raleigh police if these injuries happened back in April. Why did they just bring charges now? And I'll mourn what they had to say about that coming up new at 6. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.